already already disconnected. Be patient with this one. This is probably going to be, you know, we're way out, out now. If anyone's around, please see if we can keep an internet. Here's Millie. Hi, sweetheart. How, look at, oh, she's a big girl. Look how beautiful she is. Hello, darling. Hello. How are you? She comes around every now and again. She's hoping to get some food. Let me get my glasses on so I can see. Look, I, I do apologize. We're a long way. We've got no, I don't think we've even got. <laughs> hey, Ruby. Ruby's in. She says, hi, Michelle. Bromaken go is in, Jan's in, hello everyone. Say hello to Millie. She's a bush cow and she's out here roaming. We got crocodiles in that. Uh... Hello, sweetheart. You want a scratch? You want a scratch? This is the first internet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's been boisterous. This is the first internet we've had. Oh, in the Five or six days. Sorry we haven't been putting the videos up. We will catch up at some point. Oh, hello, gorgeous. Fancy some beef? Don't say beef to Millie. She's very sensitive. Aren't you, sweetheart? She comes along. Michelle is over there, by the way. That's the camp. Oh. Is it, is it blurry? No, oh, what a shame. Because it is gorgeous. Take a look out here. This is, uh, we got crocodiles. Beautiful little freshwater crocodiles in this lake. We just camped here. I wish the picture then was as good. Is it, is it, is it pixely for everybody? So there's, I think I've, we've seen two of three crops in this uh the fresh waters listen to that hello sweetheart Millie wants her head scratched <laughs> so i just thought i'd touch base and say hello because we've um we've been out i had a bath in this this morning shower you know bucket water over my head Talk to me, everybody. Say hello. So, Kelly's in. Hi, Harold. Ash water crocodiles? No, no, not really, Ruby. Salt water crocodiles in Australia are the ones to be aware of. They get up to sort of four meters long, and they will come out of the sea and take you there. They're pretty wicked. Is the picture very um, pixelated? Maybe you could just uh, confirm that. Is it, Michelle? Really pissy anything? No, I'll film some of this. I'll film some of it and later on I'll put a video up that's much clearer. So, say hello to Millie, she's off. Oh, that's a shame because it is so pretty. It is so pretty. We are having, I'll just sit nice and still and see if we can get, um, see if we can get some stability. Uh, if I don't move too much, it'll be a little less pixelated because a bit, bit less data to send. So there was a nice little croc came a meter and a half long, just came up to the water just near here. And they're pretty safe. Uh, you, they're not probably going to do you too much damage it's the saltwater crocodiles near the coast just just behind us where we've been there's a beautiful coast we stopped in a place called James Price Point uh, there's no internet no phone line Millie's off and it was really beautiful we had bushfires near us so we actually couldn't leave for about three days because the bushfires were pretty intense but we were safe we were on the um, let me sit down here sit in the dirt I'm dirty enough as it is um, so we we're pretty safe um, because we were right on the beach 
it was beautiful. We had campfire cooking, we did some fishing, we got some golden trevally, um, which a lot of people say is not good eating, but I can tell you we cooked it up. Uh, I filleted the fish, the guy that caught them, friend of ours, Anthony, who we met on the road, I filleted the fish, um, we breaded them, Michelle did a uh, coconut, oh, there's a big truck going by, quite a long way off, but they're so noisy, they're, they're big road trains, and he's got one, two, three carriages. So we breaded them, and they were delicious. Even their kids, they had three kids, this, this couple we met, and they loved it. There's another road train going the other way. One, two, three carriages. She's, she's not really tame. Yes, Kelly, she's, um, she's not really tame. I think if I sit still, if I sit still, okay, I'm going to show you the lake where, where well, it's not a lake, it's a creek. I'm going to just turn it around. I'm going to sit it there nice and steady so you can see where we're next to. There's a white cow on the other side. There's a bunch of little ducks. They're like Indian runners, little upright ducks. There's a beautiful crane. Um, oh, just over there, he's just paddling around in the water getting the odd fish and if I see the crocodiles I will show you so now if I hold it nice and steady like that it'll be it'll be uh, almost like just sending a photograph hopefully and you'll see it so I'll try not to move around too much and just tell you what we've been up to so we did the we did golden trevally I made a coconut rice on the campfire we had a uh, a billy can over the campfire and the kids had, we served them coconut rice, trevelli and breadcrumbs with coconut milk. And I also made an apple pie, oh, I made an apple pie, uh, which went down really well. So that was fun. We've been eating well. We've met a couple here and tonight we're gonna to be having dinner with them. They're fairly well known, famous, uh, I think they're called the wilderness couple. They've been living out in the in the wilderness for, for several years and they live with no electricity, no, nothing at all. So they're pretty, um, we've been exchanging stories about traveling and tonight uh, we're gonna do a vegetable curry and I'm gonna see if I can do a loaf of bread. And I've done bread before on the campfire, so in the camp oven. Um, yeah, hey, Hit that thumbs up if you're in watching. Let's see if we can get the thumbs up a little bit higher. That's a very, uh, what's the word, social media thing to do, isn't it? <laughs> We're roughing it pretty well, Ruby. We're roughing it. If you see behind the Jeeps there, we've got two hammocks hung up under the trees. There's some beautiful black macaws. I think they're called black macaws. Big parrots just behind us. They've got a big red, yeah. And you, yes, yeah, there's a parakeet up there as well. Uh, she just wants to say hello, but I won't be able to get close enough. Um, so there's some black macaws. They've got um, big red vents behind them. There's little honey, I think they're called honeybirds or honey, a little tiny bird. Where's that, Jan? No, Ruby, the mosquitoes aren't too bad. You do have to keep putting on the repellent to keep them down. We've got a, we had a bucket and water shower this morning. Um, Michelle hasn't yet. We were, oh, look at this, just coming in. See if I can keep the camera steady. Look at that bird. That's what I was saying about, look at that crane. It's just paddling through and suddenly it'll dive in, bring up a little fish, a little sprat. How beautiful is that? Can you see that? I hope you can see it. Hold it steady. There's a parrot just flown over, lorikeets, two of them, white ones. Well, we're in the late 90s Fahrenheit, um, getting up near the hundreds every single day. Uh, 37 degrees Celsius, I'm not sure what that is exactly, maybe one of you will Google it. 37 degrees Celsius. So in the midday, around now, um, we are 10 o'clock, 
in the next hour it's going to get very hot so we're going to just we're just going to sort of chill and wait till about three o'clock is there some birds behind me oh these little fellas thank you larry i didn't see those they're like little willy wagtails. I'm not sure what they are. They're, there's a lot of them around here. But that girl there, she's, she's, well, that could be a guy. I said that one over there. Let me just turn it around again. There's actually another, and she's just wading through the water. So if I sit very still, and I don't move, if I don't move too much, apparently the picture's okay. I won't go running around, I'll just keep it like this. What else have we been up to? We went across, uh, we took the little Jeep across some really rough ground to get out to Cape Levy. Um, I did get stuck in the sand and uh, Anthony pulled us out because um, we got quite a low clearance and we, we got stuck, but I knew I was with, with a guy who had a big um, r r uh, ute, so he, we, we agreed that we'd, we'd go as far out as we could and if I got stuck he'd pull me out. So he pulled me out once but pretty much we'd, we were fine. Um, we went fishing every day off the coast, casting out, uh, just using lures, pull, pulling the lures in off the coastline and caught some, some quite nice trevally. Nothing particularly spectacular. Um, yeah, Larry, we, we are a bit uh, blurred. As I say in the uh, the title, I'm sorry if it's it's not great because you can imagine uh, we are, I don't even think I've got 3G. It's just like the old fashioned, uh, I'm not got, usually it says 4G or 3G. This has just got a few bars. So I'm just trying it. I know I can do a little bit of Facebook and some comments but this is the first internet we've had in probably about six days. So I just wanted to say hello to everyone and uh, check how you're doing, let you know how we're doing. The birds here are beautiful. Nice Jan, fresh tomatoes would be nice. We're gonna, we've got a little bit of um, um, Peter who's coming around later. Hi Wendy. Uh, Peter who's coming around later has got some sweet potato bit of swede we're gonna do a vegetable curry um, some fresh bread and we'll probably Michelle and I think about a, a little dessert yes Jan I, I think if I get up and walk around now can you see the color I'm going I I mean I'm getting really can you see the lines it's getting really dark and in the out back in the near the Karajini and out towards uh, um, Cape Levique, the earth is bright orange, and my feet, Michelle's feet, we we looked like sort of tango kids. We were, we, our skin was going orange, and we tried to wash off in this lake. We tried to wash off. We went out and took some buckets, got some water, and it. It was, it still won't come off, it's stained us. Yo, Raggy! Raggy's in the house. Hey, buddy. Sorry I've been out of, uh... Yeah. There's always, well, we don't get many idiots in, do we? But we get the odd one. Anyway, Raggy, good to see you, man. It's always good. Sorry, we've been out of out of contact, Raggy. This would be this would be similar sort of country. You might get down um, down where you come from, boy. <laughs> Rough, harsh. We've been drying. We've been dry for um, man. We don't normally get the. We don't normally get the, the, the idiots in. Anyway, it's hot and dry and gorgeous. I, I'd rather I actually have it like this. Thank you, whoever's doing the uh, moderating. Thank you, Michelle. Can you see Michelle's legs back there? So she, she is back there. Do you want to come and say hello? 
You're hiding. Bring your orange body down here. <laughs> We're all orange. I'm the, less orange. You're less orange. I'm less orange. Hello. <laughs> so. Oh, sorry. Oh, you've got the, <laughs> yeah. That's what I was doing. So I'm just watching so, up there. So, Michelle's going to moderate up there. Yep. Stevie. Yeah, we've been we've been out of out of. Uh, thanks, Ruby. Ruby sends her love. So we've been out of circulation, but we just can't get any internet out here. I filmed lots of beautiful stuff, so hopefully I'll do some videos when we eventually find a, a steady place. I was really hoping to do a lot more, but you know, up here in deepest, darkest Western Australia, <laughs> it is pretty sketchy we're lucky occasionally we'll be driving along and we get a little bing and some stuff will come through party on raggy yeah we're having a very good time man we're having a good good time so this is the perfect spot for me you know we've got crocodiles we've got birds the most gorgeous birds up in these trees we've got the cows these are just uh, this is a, a station this is like a farm station and this, the, the guy who owns or the family that owns this station, they just designated a little bit of free camping on the roadside and it's very pretty. Um, it does have a sort of sad story. I believe at one time the family lost their boy on this road out here um, and some travellers who were coming through uh, looked after him. Sorry about the sad story, but anyway, some travellers looked after him and because of it, they built this, uh, this, this enclosure here. But there's still wildlife you've got uh, at night time i could see some some animals going through i'm not sure if they were just wild cats um no kangaroos but there is a big herd of cows and one particularly uh one particular they're, they're little honey eaters these tiny little birds you won't be able to see them there's a batch of them in this tree ahead of me just jumping around and they, they just hover above the water and just sip the water. They're almost like um, the golden honey eaters, I think they're called. And they just hover above the water and just sip at the water. It's really, really nice to see. So we will try and get some cooking videos done. We'll try and film some of tonight's. We won't be able to upload it, not at these speeds, it will take decades to upload uh, there's anyone can come into this campsite it's not marked hi Petri yeah I'm sorry we we'll get, we'll get back on top eventually <laughs> we're going to be oh there's a lovely buzzard going over now as well that is a, a kite I think just you probably can just about see it in the air there it's a kite. So, um, anyone can sort of rock up here. It's not marked. Uh, there's no sort of indication. You see a t-shirt tied to a, a wooden stick outside, which is the only indication. They just ask you to close the gate when you come in to make sure that the cattle don't escape out onto the road. Yo, yo, Max. Hello, sweetheart. Tammy, how you been? Good? So, yeah, so you can just rock up and, and, and stop here and camp, but they ask you just to close the gate to keep the cattle in. And it's a big area. I mean, it goes back. We've got some camp wood. We've got a couple coming around tonight who are camping in the bush right out here. Uh, Peter and Miriam. Uh, Peter is a Kiwi and Miriam is from Holland. And we're going to cook some good food up tonight. Good nosh. Uh, as I say, they are they're sort of real wilderness people. They have no uh, no electricity at all. Michelle and I are quite modern, really. I mean, most of this trip we've been the sort of poor travellers because everyone's got these big caravans, <laughs> and we got our little tent, the little yellow jeep. But it's all been good fun. It's all been good. So. What else has been happening? Any questions? Ask if you want to know anything about what we've been up to. <laughs> Shall what else has been going on? 
We stopped in a place called Broome. That was. Oh, we had a I had a bad day about a week ago. One of those days where everything went wrong. Everything. We were driving from um, Cape. Uh, no, not Cape. Uh, Port Hedland. Port Hedland to Broome. We had a blowout on the trailer, so the t the tire just shredded. It was uh, 37 degrees, so I think it's close to 100 degrees. No shade, so I'm out there trying to change the tire. We then had um, uh, the petrol canister that was in the, in the trailer uh, sprung a leak because of the intense heat, and I think it was uh, probably quite an old canister that we've been using. Um, we've got two of them, but one sprung a leak, so everything got covered in in uh, gasoline or petrol nightmare and and then of course the third thing came along the fridge the little fridge we've got in the back that that the fuse blew on that so so we had one of those days when we arrived in Broome where we were just a little bit a little bit sick and tired of it all and we were sort of st <laughs> there's no way out of this because we're we're 8,000 kilometers from home so there is no way. So we stopped in a little campsite, freshened up, washed up, feeling a little bit sorry for ourselves. Had to go and find tires, had to go and find uh, fuses and a few other things we had to get. And of course the t people that were camping next to us turned, to be, turned out to be delightful, lovely people. Um, they're setting up their own YouTube channel because of what we do. So they're gonna be called the Meanderers, M-E-E-H-A-N-D-E-R-E-R-S. Um, Sounds like a E I E I O. So they're going to be doing, hopefully inspired. They may not. They're traveling with kids. And we ended up from that, you know, diversity, we ended up uh, hooking up with them and going out to the Cape. And that's what I said. We then ended up getting our um, all our fishing. So from a really miserable day, yeah, from a really, oh, there go the black lorikeets. Look, let's just turn that camera. Can you see them? The black ones there? There's big flocks of them. Sorry, I don't want to turn the camera because maybe we'll see them again later. They're beautiful because if you get underneath them here and you sort of like rattle them a bit in the bush, maybe you've got about a couple of hundred meters, maybe 300 yards back from here, there's loads of them up in the trees and they all take off. So you get this black cloud of, of parrots taking off and the big red flashes underneath. It's really, really a sight to see. Um, yeah, so Tammy, it, it just made it nice. It was nice to be camped next to some people. We, the first night we got there, we just, um, we just felt a little bit sorry for ourselves because the day had gone so badly. And uh, we just wanted to get all the dirt off of us. <laughs> all right so um and then you meet nice people and everything picks up and you roll on again look it's not the camera pixel um it's nothing to do with the camera it's the fact that we're thousands and thousands of kilometers from anywhere um several days drive and you know you you're not you're not in the city this is if you run out of water out here, you die. <laughs> there's no, there's no, uh, there's no two ways about it. We're a long way from anywhere. Yesterday, I met a nice guy from uh, Seattle. Uh, he was cycling. Whenever I see cyclists going through uh, outback Australia, I always stop and give them water. So I just pull over, uh, give them a bottle of water, see if they need anything. And um, so I met a guy called Billy. And he, he I'll, I have, I'll share his stuff out maybe on, on Instagram. He's, he's cycling the whole length of the width of Australia. Oh, thanks, Yo Yo. Yo Yo. Thanks, Tammy. So, and we also, the day before, um, we had. Uh, uh, another guy, a, a New Zealand guy, actually called Steve, and he was cycling also from uh, Queensland from tip to tip. We gave him some water as well. I always like to give the cyclists some water because they get the hardest thing to carry when you're cycling 
these long distances is water. Would you grab my water, sweetheart? <laughs> She's drunk it. I'll have to get another one. I've got like little bottles of, of water. They were they were not too expensive in the supermarket, so um, I'm going to be drinking from a little bottle. Um, so yes, water is the big thing out here. Food isn't so hard. And shade, <laughs> shade from the heat. I mean, this is, you can see behind us, we've got lots of shade. But you barely need to pee out here. It's, it evaporates off your body. I mean, you, you, even just breathing, I think you must give your liver a good rest because there's no processing going on there at all. You're just, you're just drinking, drinking water. And, um, and it just evaporates off your system. So we must get through a fair bit of water. Um, what else? Food, we've been doing well, haven't we? Sorry? Food, we've done well. Yeah. Any crocs out there, Michelle? No, I'm looking, especially for sleep. If I could see the crocodiles, I'd show you them. But again, you know, you needs must. We, we, I can't give you, I've got really high quality internet when I'm near a city. Uh, when I'm out here, I get whatever I can. Larry, fish curries, I, I do have, but I can't uh, really share them with you now. I mean, there are many different types of fish curries. We were gonna do a fish curry the other day with the Trevelli, but uh, we decided just to go for filleted. Um, not any bush meat yet, Ruby, but let's see. We may get there yet. We're, we're going through some pretty arid areas, so let's see what we can we can come up with. The best place we've visited uh, so far, Kelly. Right now, it's where you are. You know, here is beautiful. I can't think of you know at the end of a long, harsh drive uh, in 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 a lot of heat. When you get to a place like this, this is nice and, and nice of the farmers or the landowners to actually designate a little bit of free camping here for people. There is a lot of free camping in Australia and it's all good stuff, but this is a particularly nice one, particularly with the water here. You can walk down onto the water's edge, you can sort of scoop up some water and freshen up. And, and now for the next, probably till about three o'clock, so what are we now? Um, half past 10 till about three o'clock we'll just try to hunker down and uh, get out of the heat and then around about three o'clock I've got a little campfire behind me here and if you can see some wood just up here we'll crack up the the campfire I'm gonna get some I've got some bread flour I'm gonna shape a nice cob loaf and I'm gonna bake that uh, in in the um, the Dutch oven so it's like a camp oven um, we, we'll let it prove and then we're gonna bake that up because the, the couple that we're gonna be sharing a meal with tonight they really fancied some fresh bread, so I said I'd make some, and they're gonna to put together a, a vegetable curry, and, and I probably think of something sweet to do. Maybe, what do you think? Oh, talking to me. <laughs> Michelle's here. Um, yes, I think something sweet to do. Any suggestions? Bear in mind, we can only, we can only do what we have. It's lovely hanging in the hammocks back there, I can tell you that. Can you see the hammock over my shoulder? We've got two hammocks. Can I see the second one? Um, Wendy, it gets quite cold at night, but you'll find in a tent it doesn't get cool at all. Uh, um, it's very comfortable at night. Uh, the temperatures probably drop down. I can only do it, say they drop down to about 12 degrees. Yes, a cobbler would be nice. If we had fruit, We got some tin apricots, so we could do a cobbler or crumble, but a crumble without custard or ice cream or yeah, we'll think about that. that's a good idea, Ruby. Thank you for that. You just go. Well, our appetites are way down. We don't eat a lot of food in this heat, so we may just stick with the main courses. Nice bread with a vegetable curry. I was going to do some flatbreads, maybe some naans or, or chapatis, but everybody seems to want 
me to do a nice loaf so loaf. What I'll do is I'll pull the hot fire, I'll pull the hot campfire so we get it red and then spare just put some of the hot coals away and then I'll do camp oven on top of those so it get not too hot. Onto the onto the red coals, it stays too hot and it burns the bread. So we put it there and then I'll put hot coals on top so we're getting the heat from, to get a nice crust. And I'll probably splash some water in there so we get a decent crust. We've done it before on this trip and it's come out really nice. Well, there's a little willy wagtail. You're gonna tell me it's all pixelated, but that is a little tiny black bird there. It's called a willy wagtail. That's the smaller version. And there's some kingfishers. They're kingfishers not like the ones uh, maybe you would see in the US. There's several varieties. There's little um, honey. They're all over. Um, there's kingfishers here. They're pretty little kingfishers. Uh, probably about sort of that big with the little blue flashes as you expect, the big, big, Beak. They're those little ones we saw with a long beak. Yeah. Yeah. Look, Martha, I'm. Uh, 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 Steve, your video is in trouble. Yeah. I'll I'll stop then shortly. We're in northern Western Australia, right in the north and above Broome, a place called Broome. We're a little further out than that, probably about maybe uh, five, six hours away from Broome. Um, I'm probably gonna stop because I don't want to... No, it's not a silly question. There are mosquitoes. They're not like the mosquitoes you tend to see uh, in the city. They're uh, almost a lacewing sort of mosquito and they come in around about dusk time as they often do and they bite you. They chew you. If they're not chewing you, something will be. Well, I would love to write a book, Jan, about our travels. I probably will one day. There's so much to do. So, um, if we just uh, stop this now, and if you've got any questions, be happy to answer them, but um, I'm probably gonna stop it because I think the quality is not so good. Sound, uh, hopefully the sound has been okay. Anyway, if I could just get permission from you all, you lovely people, just to, to hang up and say goodbye. <laughs> As a couple, a couple we met yesterday just come along, Peter and Dale. Okay, Ruby, be good. Ciao, everybody. We will be filming content and we will... Uh, try to keep you informed. If I get a better connection, I've got loads of data. If I get a better connection, I'll talk to you again shortly. Be good and adios.